Okay, so this is the fully built track. Like there's space for vocals and the breakdown and the drop is kind of like not there yet, but it will be there when we are done mixing the drums and tuning and tweaking and all the these kind of things that you really don't want to do yourself um, because it's what takes the time. We spent two hours on this track and uh, let's see. Yeah, two hours on this we have right here, but it's kind of like when you have an idea and you, you kind of get the idea out here. So, um, yeah, and we can actually do something. We can shriek around in this part, um, make sure there's space for vocals. We can kind of like also like. Do something like this. And add it in again and remove it and like bum. So what we want to do now, since we have the f full track, is kind of like we need to get the drop down. Um, have the drop drums work so well together. So the kick here and the snare and another snare. Yeah, and the hi hats as well as the open hats. And then this loop and this loop. Hi hats. Um, it's it's in the name. It's a hi hat. So kind of want the hi. Add a little bit of reverb. And for the the kind of open hi hat here, we kind of want um, also. Okay, the kick is my favorite part. We want this to be punchy. So, um, in Fat Fill the Pro Q2, there's this nice uh, drums preset, which kind of works. So, let's go with that because we want it to be like something nice. And I don't want to kill the drum sound. So, yeah. And what I have here is I have a preset for my kick, um, which is just add some bit of add some release and gonna add some attack. I'm gonna put the output up a notch and have it at hard. The snare is kind of my favorite part as well because it's a snare, and we have two different, two different snare. So
and we are redlining a lot right now so what we're gonna do is like we're gonna have the kick be the main part at 6 minus 6 uh, db so that's our headroom um, Everything from there should be kind of like we want it a bit down. Um, I see the kick is still coming, so turn it down here. like this so if we kind of like add it all together now As you can see, we are still redlining a lot. Um, so, what I want to do now is I'm going to add a... a Where do we have it? If I can find it, I will show you what I'm going to add. I'm at it, so, yeah. Okay. Let's go for a mix down and then listen. You see that you can see that it's really redlining, so we're gonna turn it all a lot down so we're kind of mixing it right now having it all working together just to make sure that our mix is gonna be somewhat around what we kind of want it to be
we have one here that's very high. So all of our effects is gonna be pushed a bit down. And I still think we need something to make sure that it's kind of like, yo, the build up and the drops coming. And this one is kind of like something we kind of want in it. Um, let's see, gotta make sure it fits. And it's totally not fitting. Yeah, we got something here. Um, and what we'll do is we're gonna add this down here. Down here. Okay, so I also kind of want to make sure that our lead stays.
piano here can be be worked on, but kind of dig how it is. So, um, all in all, when making future bass, it's a great beat. The drum loops and the percussions and the snare and the claps and all that makes a big role in this um, kind of beat since it's not just 4x4 four four, boom 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 and um, the tempo is a bit higher because I don't know why but it makes night as a, it makes it cool and when you have the kind of the snare the hi-hat sorry the hi-hats kind of like um, falling into each other and making this fast paced snare a hi-hat of course Kind of like that, you know. Um, it's it's just making it a bit faster and more nice when the tempo is up. Um, you can produce future bass in all other BPMs. Like it, there's no rules and there shouldn't be. So yes, when working on this, it's kind of like making some nice things. As you can see, we we have 10 patterns of stuff and that's all we use for this like yeah there's so many things to do and there's no specific way to do it I showed you how to do mine in five four five six steps I kind of told about how how we started with the melody and it turned out to be this thing and also having having the the beat the drum loops coming in making it kind of work together have a kick on the bass uh, like boom boom something that fits and works well will sound good um, but it can also turn over to be something that you want to change a lot throughout the whole thing and uh, yeah so I hope this um, kind of step course um, made something, made someone think about how how to make a future bass track, um, and also how to do this and that. And um, <clears throat> thank you for watching, and thank you to Courts for making me have this opportunity to make a, this track and also make these kind of steps into what we do um, what I do when making future base